What is up, people? Welcome to another video, and welcome to probably my favorite day every like two months or so, Costco Grocery Haul Day. So I just arrived. It is so lammed right now, but I want to go in and show you guys everything that I'm picking up right now uh, to build some muscle, stay on track, maintain a good bulk or maintenance level calories, and um, see if they have anything new as well. So we'll go grab some stuff, and then I want to go home, either talk about a few things that I got, maybe some new things, and show you a couple recipes that you can use to help you on your bowl cut maintenance wherever you're at on your journey. So without further ado, let's strap a GoPro to my head, get in there and see what they got. All right, and just so we're on the same page here, uh, it is never easy walking into a crowded place with a camera on your head and talking to yourself. So if you can, press thumbs up button for me. Let's see what they got. So the first place I like to start is the meat section. All right, and an absolute must while I'm here is grabbing these shrimp. The heads are already off, which is really nice. 10 or $9.99 a pound, so 26 bucks. This will probably make at least like four meals for me. And because I have the calories, I can add a little more fat in the diet right now. And these salmon fillets are absolutely phenomenal. And they make probably like six meals for $40 of salmon, which is really good. Now I do have some calories, but I don't know if I have this kind of calories. Caramel apple mini cakes. These things are probably 800 calories a piece. So I'm just gonna leave that right there. Now I'm a firm believer that Costco has some of the best fillets money can buy. Um, and they are expensive, but I think I'm gonna go for it this time just cause I haven't been here in a while and I am I have been craving fillets. That looks ideal. 54 bucks for one, two, three, four fillets that are super thick. So I'm gonna go for it. Another great pickup are these uh, ground bison, 90-10, so pretty lean. And you get two pounds for $19.99, I believe. So that's pretty solid. Now, when it comes to ground beef, the leanest they have is 88-12. And this is, I don't know how many, six pounds. So entirely too much for me. I'm gonna leave that there. $3.99 a pound, that's pretty good. I, for the most part, stay away from all the breads and bagels that they have here. Same goes for the cookies and the cakes. The croissants look insane, but I'm also gonna stay away. All right, now here's something I struggle with with Costco, right? If you're gonna buy vegetables or fruit from Costco, you gotta be prepared to eat it pretty quickly. Something like this green bean, really good for meal prep, but if you don't cook them all at once, you, they're probably gonna go bad. But I do like green beans, so I'm gonna get these fruit there's no way i'll eat it in time all right and the last protein is going to be a chicken breast so each one of these three packets has probably like three pieces of chicken in there so that's pretty solid 33 dollars for the whole thing at 5.99 a pound toss that in all right so if you're into like pre-cooked chicken there's a lot of really really good options um, you have this right here which i've actually never tried before soy's kitchen but I mean, it's as clean as it comes. You can actually see some of the chicken there. 110 calories, 20 grams of protein. So this is a good option. They have the chicken skewers, which me and Perry both love actually. This is a really good option. This I've actually never seen before. Chicken shawarma slices. Um, I might actually get this. I've never seen it and I wanna try it out. Uh, 190 calories, 23 grams of protein. I'm pretty sure it's made with chicken thighs as well, so it probably has a little more fat content. And then, as if that wasn't enough, they also have chicken bites and like little pre-made packages, which is really good as well. And something I've talked about endlessly on the channel, $15.99, by the way, this used to be $9.99, for about five and a half pounds of hand-pulled rotisserie chicken meat straight off of rotisserie chicken. Absolutely love this stuff when I'm cutting. Don't need it right now, but it's an incredible choice if you want something quick and easy. They also do have uh, Starbucks egg bites here. Definitely don't recommend getting them considered two egg bites or 280 calories. You could easily make them at home with one of my recipe videos I have for you. And just like with the chicken, they have a lot of uh, pork and ground beef pre-cooked options. I know I've gotten these uh, sirloin sliced before. Really, really good, surprisingly, because it's pre-cooked. Um, don't need it today. And they also have burnt ends. I've never seen or tried these, but it, looks interesting maybe i'll give it a shot one day not today though and same thing goes with pulled pork uh pre-cooked and ready to go sticking with the pre-cooked options me and perry have had this for dinner a couple times now street tacos 15 bucks for right around two maybe three meals tops 
uh, but a really good option nonetheless. All right, on to eggs and milk. I don't normally buy my milk here, um, but what I will do is get hard boiled eggs. So six hard boiled eggs in a grocery store is like five bucks. And here you get 32 eggs for $13. That is astronomically better. All right, and last pre-made thing, I promise. Um, these little chicken breast burrito bowls, very solid to take to work or for lunch. You get three of them in here, uh, and each one is right under 400 calories with 30 grams of protein, pretty solid. All right, um, I'm not sure if it's a good deal or not, but these prime drinks are not terrible, and uh, it's 15 bucks for 15 of them. Here is an absolute cutting staple for me, uh, Costco's rice cauliflower. $7.99 for this entire bag. It is a lot of rice cauliflower, better than anywhere you're gonna find it. And it's all organic, which is a plus. All right, and this I've never seen before. Sheet pan vegetables, uh, Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes, broccoli, red onion, and zucchini. Ooh, 120 calories with nine grams of fat. Oh, sorry, I think I'm gonna have to skip. And to go along with the rice cauliflower, we have an absolutely massive bag of organic mixed vegetables. The best combo while cutting, promise you that. And this bag's $8.99 for a sizable bag. Now, if there's one must buy from Costco, it is the largest bag of these Just Bear uh, chicken nuggets. They're pretty similar to what you get with like Chick-fil-A. They are very, very good. I always have these in my freezer. Now, when it comes to their frozen fish, uh, there's one thing that I always go for, and that is their wild caught mahi. Uh, frozen, and each one is individually sealed, so you can take it out and thaw it as you need it. And it's mahi, so it's a super high protein, clean, white fish. Also, if you like the triple zero yogurt, 15 grams of protein, 110 calories, you get a variety pack, mixed berries, strawberry, and vanilla. Pretty solid pickup here for much cheaper than normal. Now, I'm not necessarily a huge lunch meat eater, but if I was, a good place to get it is Costco because you get three packs for $11.99, so that's really solid. All right, this is like a perfect section right here, starting out with uh, Kodiak cakes. Absolutely love these things. My little Kodiak cake bowl that I make with the Lily's dark chocolate chip. So this combo right here is perfect together as well as you can pick up some cinnamon to go with it. This is an ass load of cinnamon, but it's only five bucks, which cinnamon can get pretty expensive. All right, so Costco has probably all of the Kinder seasonings you could ever imagine. But what I will tell you is my two favorite are these two right here, the Kinder's wood fire garlic and the blend seasoning, both extremely solid on just about anything you can imagine very very good and just in case you were wondering what avocado oil spray i use every day this is it right here a two pack for 12.99 of a big spray bottle that's really good all right i've been seeing this go kind of viral on tiktok 35 calories per tablespoon that's not bad i don't know what you put it on but i might need to try it out here's another dual staple for me right here the costco canned chicken and the tuna I know you may think canned meats are gross, but they are super convenient and they taste delicious and they store for a long time too, and they're cheaper. So there's really so many pros on it as well. Um, both very, very good options. I keep both in my pantry at all times. Just found the PB Fit, obviously the peanut butter alternative. Uh, I still use this a lot, even when I'm maintaining and bulking, just cause it's really easy to keep, quick to make, and it does taste really good as well. And I actually like that's in a bag instead of a big container. It's a lot easier to store this way. Now, of course, you can always get massive bags of rice like this, or they have your pre-cooked option. I've tried this sticky rice, very, very good for Asian type recipes, but they also have this organic jasmine rice. It's gotta be very similar to your Uncle Ben's 90 second bags. Each container, 460 calories, just clean rice. And I've also talked about this before multiple times, the Madre's lentils. Um, I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong, but it doesn't matter because it's like, it kind of has like a chili flavor to it, but the entire pack only has 280 calories with 11 grams of protein. So add some meat into this and you are good to go. All right, getting into another must have from Costco, and that is their 
almond butters. So they have organic, they have normal. Uh, the organic is literally $12 and the normal is $7. 100% just go for the normal. I also bought this last time I was in Costco, raw Florida honey. I don't know if they have it outside of Florida, but it's actually really, really good honey. Still using it to today. And if you're looking for a solid high protein cereal, this Catalina Crunch is pretty solid. 11 grams of protein and 110 calories. That's crazy macros actually. All right, another daily essential of mine pretty much are these pretzel crisps. One, organic, cool. Um, two, 110 calories for 11 pretzels. And they are like super salty, good, crispy. I dip literally everything in them. All right, just a little words of wisdom here. I've tried these heavenly hunks before. They are delicious. Um, so much so that one hunch, hunk is 120 calories. And I've eaten probably at least half of this bag, which is 22 servings in one sitting. So be careful if you get them. So I'm not a huge fan of rigatoni pasta, but I am a huge fan of the bonza pasta. Um, it's made with chickpeas. You can't really tell a difference, but it has a lot more protein per serving size. So 11 grams of protein for 190 calories. That's pretty good for pasta. Unrelated to food, if you wash clothes ever just get the costco brand it is 14 dollars for 146 loads and i've been using this stuff for multiple years no issues also for just about all of my meal prep meals they have the glad takeaways right here it's 25 like containers for eight bucks that's a really really good deal and these are reusable freezer safe and everything else okay so perry is currently in london right now cheering for the jags uh Gonna get these these for her when she gets back. Can confirm Costco flowers last an extremely long time. All right, into the pre-made drinks. Um, and they actually have my new favorite liquid IV flavor, the sugar-free lemon lime. The reason why is it has like half the calories of the normal liquid IV. Um, and you can get it here for 30 bucks or you can use my discount code SUGS at their website to save I think even more. So when it comes to ready to drink protein options, they have a lot, um, a lot by Premier Protein as well. I've had these, they're pretty good. They don't taste nearly as good as the Fairlife protein shakes though, which are these right here, the Core Power Fairlife. If you know, you know, they literally taste like chocolate milk. They do have like your normal standard whey here. Uh, what I will say about this, it's a whey concentrate not a whey isolate so you're not getting the best quality of protein um, for me and does also does not and it also doesn't taste as good as say the dark chocolate from transparent labs and the last thing that i want to talk about in this section was melatonin one of these every single night I have for the past like five years helps me with sleep so so much all right into the snack aisle starting off strong these little skinny dipped cups uh if you want a reese's just get a Reese's, there, there's no comparison, honestly. Uh, this s'mores mix I bought by mistake, they are delicious, you will eat the entire container. It's probably best you don't because there's 3,400 calories in this, putting this back. All right, onto beef jerky, and honestly, all of their options are fantastic, but the Golden Island Korean barbecue is my favorite by far. It's actually pork jerky, but it is delicious. And when you're really trying to cut calories, their turkey jerky is actually some of the best turkey jerky I've had. And if you're into beef sticks, they have that too in chomps. They're both 90 calories, nine grams of protein. They're pretty solid, like a healthier, tastier beef jerky, or like a healthier, tastier Slim Jim. Once again, I've tried almost all of their protein bars. Um, these used to be absolutely incredible. They changed the recipe around, no longer very good. These are simply protein. They simply suck. They do not taste good at all. The True Bar might be one of the better ones. It's actually a vegan protein bar. Macros aren't incredible, 180 calories, 12 grams of protein, but they're really soft and chewy and they do taste pretty good. These I actually have not tried crispy protein treats, so I guess I'm gonna get them, we'll try them out in this video. Now by far the two best protein bars you can get right now at Costco are these, the Pure Protein Bars, right around 180 to 200 calories per serving all with 20 or 21 grams of protein. That is ideal. And then if you want something with a little more flavor, the Robert Irving's Fit Crunch, 190 calories, 16 grams of protein, 
but these do taste pretty delicious. All right, another bar I have not tried yet that must be new are these IQ bars. Same kind of thing, they're a vegan bar, right around 180 calories with 12 grams of protein. So once again, we'll try them out. I've actually been having these right here for breakfast quite a bit recently. Um, they're like these Nature Valley two little sandwiches with an almond butter filling. They're pretty solid, 190 calories, only three grams of protein, but for a quick start to your morning, they're pretty good. Another staple for me right here, these little 100 calorie chewy bars. I like them better than the name brand chewy bars and they're only, you get 64 bars for $9. That is insane value. Also, you want an awesome pump in the gym, just crush one or two of these rice cook treats before you go. You're gonna be in great shape with an awesome pump, trust me. All right, when it comes to fruit snacks, these are actually a pretty solid. You get a variety pack of flavors and each one is only 60 calories. So if you like something like that, these are a go-to. Now, I do wanna get something dessert-ish or like kind of sweet. Uh, and this looks like the best option, some dark chocolate bars. Looks pretty much just like chocolate with some nuts on top. So I'm gonna try these out. And I believe that is it. Uh, here's everything we got. Let's see how much it is. Uh, all right, there's actually one more thing that I really wanna get. And that is this trail mix right here. So you can buy it in the big bag, but I'm tempted to eat the entire bag when I do that. So I figured if I get these, 160 calories a pouch, maybe I'll be able to control myself a little bit better. All right, people, here we are. Oh, all done, and the total, $471, my God. Uh, and I didn't even get a lot of the stuff that I talked about, so let's get home and unbox. All right, back home, just kind of unloading, unpacking, and packing stuff. So just for reference, that salmon made four bags of three fillets each. Those fillets, the steak fillets, made three bags of three fillets each. And then I split the shrimp into two separate bags. And all that does make it a little easier when I'm like storing and prepping things. Uh, I can store it in the freezer, take it out, let it thaw for a day or so, and then cook it right up, not having to worry about chopping up large pieces. All right, now that we're home, settled, everything packed away, by the way, outfit change, the new pump cover from TLF, great pickup. Let's try out some of the snacks that we got that I haven't tried before. We'll go down, we'll start with this because I have tried Catalina Crunch before, but not this flavor. And this super annoying lady next to me was like talking about how her mom loved it. Um, this flavor specifically, so it does smell pretty good. I guess this is how it's supposed to look. Mmm, a nice like sugary, like cinnamon flavor to it. Yeah, that's solid. And the macros are really good too. So there's that. Next up, IQ bars. So every single one of these has 180 calories and 12 grams of protein. And they're a vegan protein bar. All right, there's three flavors, chocolate, peanut butter, and banana nut. I'm just gonna try them all and see which one's the best. Uh, chocolate sea salt going down first. So right when I opened it, I got a whiff of that vegan protein. And it is a little grainy like vegan protein is, but not overly grainy. It's like a soft, chewy bar. I'll come back to it if I need to. Up next, peanut butter chip. Um, initial flavor, strong peanut butter. This one's pretty good, but you still get like an aftertaste of like vegan protein. It's a little bit grainy, not terrible. Let's try banana nut. If you like banana bread, you'll actually really like this one. The texture is about the same, but it's not terrible. I don't get an aftertaste and the banana flavor is pretty strong with like, I think there's like pieces of walnut in here or something. This one's actually pretty good. Not my favorite protein bar ever, but it's not bad at all. Would I buy them again? Maybe not, but I would like pick one up every now and again if I saw them in a store. Not terrible. Um, up next, we'll do the crispy treats. Tell you what, pretty good macros on these. 100 and 110 calories, both with 10 grams of protein each. I'm assuming they're gonna be like half the size of a protein bar, huh? I hate when they do this. They give you a box and inside the box, they give you two more boxes. Stop wasting. All right, so we have vanilla and salted and caramel. We'll go with vanilla first. Damn. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's like a uh, 
it, the, the crispies are very soft and airy. Um, and it tastes a lot like a Rice Krispie Treat done well. That's pretty good. Wait, these are pretty solid. And the fact that they're only 100 calories and 10 grams of protein per each is really, really good. They're a normal size bar too. Like same size as these bars. Nothing to complain about there. Let's just try this all the caramel one real quick. I would already buy these again for sure though. Wow, this one's good too. I'm thoroughly impressed. I did not think that these were gonna be very good. And I thought they were gonna be small. That is an awesome pickup. Let's go. Yeah, those are some of the best bars, especially for the macros that I've tried in a very, very long time. Definitely recommend the, uh, what are they made by? Genius Gourmet Crispy Bars. That's a go. And the last little snack I wanna try out was this little sweet treat. Um, each one of the bars are 180 calories, but I'm kind of looking at this more of a, uh, like a dessert type, like you want some chocolate after dinner or something like that, you pick up this instead. Um, it does look appetizing and appealing. Yeah, I think that is exactly as you would think that it is, exactly how I intended it to taste. It's just a very subtle mix of like nuts, a little bit of like dried cranberries, I think is what's in there. Some pistachios, like all surrounded by dark chocolate. It's good, not overly sweet, not overly powerful. I could definitely see me having like one of these to like in my night if I wanted something sweet. So yeah, overall, extremely happy with the new stuff that I got. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video, please. It really does help me out. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to see, say, a full day eating with all the stuff that I got from Costco, that can be my next video. So get subscribed, get ready for that. And I will see you guys shortly in the next one. Peace. This the end zone. If you rockin' with it, put your hands up. Yeah.